I bring fresh showers for the thirsting flowers from the seas and the streams. I bear light shade for the leaves when laid in their noonday dreams. From my wings are shaken the dews that waken the sweet buds every one. When rocked to rest on their mother's breast as she dances about the sun. I wield the flail of the lashing hail and whiten the green plains under. And then again I dissolve it in rain as I pass in thunder. That's uh, some lines from the poem The Cloud by Percy Shelley. Out of the night that covers me, black as the pit from pole to pole, I thank whatever gods may be for my unconquerable soul. Uh, that's from uh, William Ernest Henley. The day is done in the darkness, falls from the wings of night, as feather is wafted downward from an eagle in his flight. I see the lights of the village gleam through the rain and mist, and a feeling of sadness comes o'er me that my soul cannot resist. A feeling of sadness and longing that is not akin to pain, but resembles sorrow only as the mist resembles the rain. That's from The Day is Done by Longfellow. Just as my fingers on these keys make music, so the selfsame sounds in my spirit make a music too. Music is feeling then, not sound. And thus it is that what I feel here in this room desiring you, thinking of your blue shadowed silk, is music. That's uh, from Peter Quince in the, at the Clavier by Wallace Stevens. I could go on and on. You know, I can't remember people's names, much less remember poetry, but I know those poems. I know about a dozen of those poems by heart. Why do I know them? Because de decades ago, I sat down, I took an anthology of poems, and, and I'm, I set these poems to music. I wrote songs, and I uh, used these poems as my lyrics. And to this day, I know the poems by heart. This is the way poetry was often you know, translated from generation to generation. Back in the days before the written word, before the movable um, you know, print, uh, you know, that's how people remembered poems. They literally would memorize poems. Well, how did they do it? Well, they, they sung them. Poems were meant to be sung and, and, and recited. And that's what poetry is. You know, otherwise, how would we ever know the, you know, the, the epic of Gilgamesh? You know, it's amazing the, the long poems that people would, would memorize because they made songs out of them. Uh, and I, I'll, I'll say that, you know, most people today, I probably would not know those poems if I were to just walk into a room and start reciting those poems. They probably wouldn't know what they are. Even, but if they did know or recognize some of them, they might say, yeah, that sounds familiar, but they might not know the poet. Or even if they did then know the poet, they wouldn't be able to recite the poem probably. <clears throat> but I, I'll bet that hundreds of thousands, if not millions of people, would know, you know, darkness at the break of noon, shadows even the silver spoon, the handmade blade, the child's balloon, eclipses both the sun and moon, to understand you know too soon, there is no sense in trying. I bet people would know that, you know. Of war and peace, the truth just twists, its curfew gull it glides. Upon four-legged forest clouds, the cowboy angel rides, with his candle lit into the sun, though its glow is waxed in black, all except beneath the trees of Eden. Let me dance beneath the diamond sky with one hand waving free, silhouetted by the sea, circled by the circus sands, with all memory and fate driven deep beneath the waves. Let me forget about today until tomorrow. Or, t'was in another lifetime, one of toil and blood, when blackness was a virtue and the road was full of mud. I came in from the wilderness, a creature void of form. Come in, she said, I'll give you shelter from the storm. These poems that I just recited are every bit as good as the poems I recited at the beginning of the video. These are Bob Dylan lyrics. They're every bit as good, and, and I guarantee you, in the future, if it hasn't already happened, that some of these poems that Bob Dylan wrote will appear in the anthologies, the poetry, poetry anthologies of the future. They're every bit as good, if not better. Not everything he wrote, but much of what he wrote was poetically marvelous. Now, he sang them. So a lot of people, when he won the Nobel Prize in 2016 for literature, they said, well, he's a songwriter. But that's the way poems were often performed for many, many years as songs, as recitations. 
I could walk into an olive garden tonight during dinner time and recite one of these Bob Dylan lyrics. And I guarantee you there'll be people there that know the lyric, at least recognize it for what it is and who wrote it. What other poet of our lifetime, of the last 60, 70 years, what other poet can you think of that has done that much to advance poetry, to promote poetry in that way? Yes, there are lyrics, there's song lyrics, but because of that, I can sit here and recite them to you. I'm a guy who can't remember, if you were to put in front of me a, a, a poem, a stanza of a poem, and ask me to, rem to memorize it by tomorrow, if I, didn't, if I didn't set it to music, I couldn't do it. I just could not do it. The fact that they're music just means that people can remember them better. And if they can remember them better, and by the way, that's when you really learn what the poem says. You really know it when you memorize it. If you can remember them better, you know them. That's, that's a promotion of poetry in our time. Bob Dylan is that. He is that more than anybody else you can think of. And that's why, for at least one reason why, he won the Nobel Prize for Literature in 2016, as far as I'm concerned. He deserved it heartily. All right. Take care. Bye-bye.